combination of supplements, treatments and smart drugs that make you smarter, stronger. I wanted to find out if they worked for me. So interesting. If the key to being smarter and living longer was as simple as taking a pill, would you do it? Most people saying yes. The fascinating subject of biohacking is explored in the documentary Smart Drugs. Joining us this morning is futurist Nick Babington, who tests these drugs in the documentary. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm, I'm feeling awake and ready to go. Okay, I have so many questions, man. I'm putting this down right here because, first of all, what's a futurist? What's that what's mean? A, what's a futurist? Um, I, I, look at, I look at where we've come from, where we are today, and I, I look at the signals of change, and I extrapolate on what the world would be like in 5, 10, 20 years into the future. That is incredible. Okay, so now we've got this documentary. We're talking about smart drugs. What are smart drugs? Um, smart drugs, are the, are the no, otherwise known as nootropics, are, are supplements that can help you uh, gain a, a, an extra level of focus and attention and ability around cognitive tasks. Okay, and what are some examples of those? So you can have paracetam, phenylparacetam, Nupep. There's, there's, there's tons of different kinds. Some you'll find in, in, in the pharmacies today. Some you'll have to order online and some you'll have to go to some n nefarious websites for as well. Okay, are these things safe? Um, they're pretty safe. Yeah. Uh, most of them are actually just supplements. They're, they're natural products. They don't metabolize through the liver. And then you've got things like modafinil, which are actually pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. Modafinil is probably top of the tree in terms of selection for um, something that gives you ultra focus and lots of energy. And that is actually a pharmaceutical. So if you take, take too much of something like that, that's going to cause some damage. Okay. So how did you get involved in this? Let's take us all the way back to the beginning now. How did this kind of become a passion for you, and how did you even know about it? Over the past seven or eight years, I really got involved in the biohacking movement. It's the understanding that we're born as human 1.0. We can, we can upgrade ourselves. I've got microchips in my hands. I've tried no, a number of different things. And then uh, the, the producers got in touch with me. They're like, oh, we hear that you do this, and it was a perfect fit. And I was willing to experiment and try anything as part of this documentary. And... So, you know, you were saying to me about right away, you're like, do you have caffeine? Yeah. You know, people say, is caffeine good for you? Is it bad yeah. for you? You're going to crash. Like, is it good or bad? What do you, what's your take on this? Well, this is about a balance. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you take too much of anything, if you eat too much of any kind of food or take too much vitamin C or whatever, it's not going to be necessarily good for the system. So you just got to work out a balance uh, and what works for you, you know, an experiment. I think life's an experiment. Okay, so if I'm sitting here, I'm watching at home right now, what should I experiment with? What are these natural things, maybe uh, some of the common terms that we would know that we could understand that we could just get right away to try out? Yeah, you, you really have to work out what you want to do with your day. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you want to do a lot of reading and writing and you find that your attention is all over the place, um, you can step forward with things like paracetam. Mm -hmm. It is wild, widely available online and you can find it in, in certain stores as well. That, that's a good start. Okay. But again, you know, with caution, you know, try a little bit, see how it affects your body and then step forward if it's, if it works for you. That's it. And, and all this research and, and things you're doing, you're doing here in Toronto. Yeah, I'm doing, well, I, I do it as I fly around mm -hmm. the world, but like, yeah, Toronto, San Francisco, Vancouver, New York, wherever. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so fascinated by this documentary. Uh, we can see this tomorrow night, correct? Correct. It's on the CBC at 7 o'clock, so you can check it out. And more on the documentary, you can check out the link we have for it at uh, breakfasttelevision.ca. Nick, this is so, we're just scratching the surface. We are. This is amazing, man. Absolutely. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here this Thank morning. Thank you so much. We've got more Breakfast Television after this.